I've always been engaged in things like, you know, feeding the world in 2050, generation 2050 kind of side of agriculture. So obviously beef industry, definitely about um, the marketing side of the beef industry and I have been engaging, I guess, the connection between consumer and the breeders. So that's a big thing at the moment. Yep. Uh, continue on the family legacy, uh, fifth generation breeder. So we're going to continue breeding on shorelines, running stuff commercially, as well as just general farming. Um, so I'm currently studying um, my Masters of Teaching. So I'm going to be a high school agriculture and science teacher. So obviously um, my passion for agriculture and getting youth involved has led me to complete my Masters so I can be a teacher. Um, hopefully end of this year. Um, I would love to also one day down the track have my own stud with either shorthorn or Angus cattle. I think it's it's more it's about uh, continuing on. I think that's uh, become a family tradition. We work on working on our property and we'll, uh, continue to breed cattle the way we've been doing for some years. I guess my aspirations would be to move forward from um, where our family business is today and to perhaps um, build a future my personal self but you know, off our family operation at the moment so that I can live inside our beef production um, that we have as a family and um, create that for myself so I have some future security. So personally it's actually a conflict of passion so I think a lot of ag kids are really passionate about the ag industry but then they're also torn between obviously studies and it's really hard to balance that full commitment to if you're doing a stud stock producing side of things and also be able to study that full time and actually get the balance of both well. Uh, I see a pretty big barrier, one that's government. Yeah. Uh, we're going to have to be working with it quite extensively. The embargoes and the things that they restrict us with might be hard to work around because protein is a uh, commodity that's going to be in high demand and it's only going to get worse, especially when we patrol it's going to be a lot of government. I think there needs to be a lot of talking and convoluting with people, industry, each industry and government factions to make sure that we get the best deal for our product and that we're not producing at a loss at the end of the day. I think obviously money is always um, an issue with um, in, in any um, industry but I think um, everything's getting more expensive, nothing's getting cheaper and yeah I think that's um, probably the main um, barrier to getting getting yourself started and getting your stud started and that type of thing. So. Obviously, in agriculture, we rely on season, but at the same time, I think um, the, the price of land to get into a property to own and work off is probably going to be the my biggest barrier, um, as long as our government you know, provides good um, markets for our, our products, whether it's you know, grain or beef. Um, as long as that stays sustainable, then we'll be able to, um, you know, rely on, rely on that and, and, um, and living. And what about you, Ryan? Um, I think I agree entirely with what Ash says. Uh, I think further to that, I think not only just uh, you know land purchasing, but I think just on costs you know, and overheads in production costs is is really the biggest killer.